Welcome to our lecture online. Sometimes we're able to write a probability distribution in terms of a function of the random variable. And here is an example of what that might look like. The probability of the random variable x is equal to x over 10. Now notice we've put a limit as to what x can be. First of all, x can only be an integer, which makes it a discrete random variable. And also notice that the only values, values allowed are 1, 2, 3, and 4, so that the variable x, the random variable x, the discrete random variable x, is limited to just those four values. If we change the number of values, if we make it 5, 6, 7, 8, and so forth, it wouldn't be possible to have the function looking like that. So let's see why that is. Let's go ahead and calculate the probabilities for each of those four values. So the probability when x equals 1 is going to be 1 over 10. The probability for x equals 2 is going to be 2 over 10. The probability that x equals 3 is therefore 3 over 10. And the probability when x equals 4 is equal to 4 over 10. Now let's go ahead and add up all those probabilities. So when we add them all up, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, that would be 10 over 10, which is equal to 1. And that's an indication that that's a proper function because when we add up all the probabilities of all the possible values that x can have we end up with a 1 and that shows that this is a proper function of that random variable so again this doesn't always work sometimes it's very difficult to come up with the function or just about impossible now also what we can have instead of just writing out like a function like just f of x equals x over 10 for example we could sometimes simply list all the various uh, probabilities and when we do that even though we then have a list of probabilities you can also think of that in terms of a function of the probability you could say well i have a prob probability function by simply listing out all the possible values that x can be, my variable x can be, and have a list of all the corresponding probabilities that can also be thought of as a function, a probability function. But in essence, this is more like what we would expect to see, a real function for which we can plug in every possible value for x that is allowed, and then we see that when we then add up all the probabilities, we end up with a 1. And that is then the definition of a probability function.